We got to make us an intro, nigga. Right. We got to make us a goddamn. Goddamn, I'm big. Oh, no, goddamn, this slip butt, nigga. Mm -hmm. And we come to bring y'all. You know what I mean? You yeah. got to put that energy in this shit. We got to come up with us a goddamn intro. We definitely come to them folk. Hell you know yeah. what I mean? We definitely need to come up with a cool ass intro. Because your energy is what draws people to the. You know what true, I mean? True, true, true. For real, bro. Fucking you right. You got to have that energy and shit. Definitely can't be just no nigga, no dull ass shit sitting around. Yeah, we here today on some hot shit yeah, all day. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Cause now so I was looking at D. Yeah, we been doing a lot of research. Um, Them motherfuckers. Shouts out to the research team, man. My boy yes. Marcus, man. You feel me? My boy Marcus, man. The real Marco, research man. team. My boy Marco, man. Real research team, man. We working, man. Everybody, everybody doing their part around right here, man. That shit working out real good, man. Yeah. Out the Zone to see read y'all see the merch, you know what I'm saying? We got that rock merch, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see what's yes, going sir. on around them motherfuckers. Whole bunch of zone to see read shit, man. You understand me? Then we like man, we we drop y'all drip drop. You know what I'm saying? Then we we zone to see read. We gonna sweep the every week we got flavor, okay? We all got clothes to sell. You feel me? So y'all yeah. make sure y'all show some love. Order you a hoodie, order you a hat. Make sure you fuck with that drip trappers, order you a hoodie, order you a hat, order you a t-shirt, something for your kids, it don't matter, man. We working all the way around the board, man. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Um, before we get into it, make sure y'all like, subscribe, follow the channel. Um, we got a new Instagram page. Y'all make sure y'all follow the Instagram page. Uh, Sneakers and Strands, the podcast. Y'all make sure y'all look that up on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, we ain't made the YouTube page just yet. We just, you know what I'm saying, working out a whole lot of kinks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But all this footage will be on the Sneaks and Strands YouTube page once we make that in the next couple of days. So y'all be on the lookout for that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, Whole lot of shit. What you got going on, cuz? Man, you know me, man. I'm just got damn kicking back, ready to share these beautiful sneakers with the world, yeah, man. Get them some yeah. little research on these things, cause man, these these are pretty old sneakers too, but yeah. I ain't even know these things eight years old. For real? Yeah, they dropped it April of 2014. Damn. Mm-hmm. April 2014. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, damn. damn. That was the first drop, or was that a re-release? Nah, I think this the first drop of the cements. Okay. Cause you know these the joint two. This joint the two. this joint second signature shoe. Okay. A lot of people weren't feeling this shoe though. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people weren't feeling this shoe when Jordan dropped this. A lot of folk weren't feeling it, so it wasn't one of his best selling shoes. But over time, people started gravitating towards the style. Before you get in, all right, baby. Before we gonna crank this thing up, man. Sneaks and Strand the podcast, man. It's your boy Slip, boy Ziggy. It's your boy Nardo in the motherfucking Hard Nardo in the motherfucking building, man. Hard Nardo in the man. You already know what's going on, man. Shouts out to the house lady in the building. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. We back, man. For another episode of Sneakers and Motherfucking Strands. You understand me? Yes, sir. Yeah, man. We got some nice sneakers on hand. We got some new strands on hand. You understand me? Yes, Every sir. episode, we will be bringing you a new pair of sneakers. Uh, to education about uh about the strands. You know what I'm saying? We know everybody just uh rent, 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 rent. I don't even know what you're going. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get y'all some information on that now. Make oh, yeah. sure we keep y'all informed about what you're putting into your body out here. And if you uh if your plug is giving you the right thing, he telling you he giving you basically. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, ski. Yes, sir, ski. Shouts out to all our viewers from last week that tuned in. Everybody that sent comments and questions. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate support. We appreciate everybody tuning in, man. Locking us in, man. And folks that followed the page, man. Salute to y'all. Salute to y'all, salute to y'all, man. We got a lot of shit going on. We've been in the street, but we've been doing all kind of shit this week, but mm -hmm. we just trying to take our part. We, we want our podcast to be yeah. different for everybody. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, going to be a lot like, different. I, I, I feel like this a, I feel like this a sneaker show. I don't feel like it's just a podcast. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I want it to be more than just a podcast. Everybody got podcasts where they just, you just sit in front of the camera and they just chill and they talk and then it's over with. 
But we wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? We gonna bring y'all a whole lot of different stuff, you know what I'm saying, within these episodes. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned over that little boy go. He already on the strands. Oh yeah, man. What strand is it? Man, this that blue bubble gum gelato. Blue bubble gum gelato. You gotta know somebody to get there. You gotta know you get it. You what they say? If you know, you know. Yes, sir. You blue know. Gum. That thing crazy. Too. Blue bubble gum gelato. Ooh. KKK. No, we gotta test out the goddamn scram. And we got the hamburger. Uh, the goddamn hamburglar. The hamburger. Hamburger runs. You yeah, know what I'm man. saying? This week, hamburger runs. Y'all make sure y'all. Y'all look that up. This thing real, real, real nice, too. That's mm -hmm. a new run strand, mm -hmm. too. This is a new run strand. Hamburger one. One of the newest ones that they did release. Because, you know. Them strands just like them sneaker. <coughs> True. The motherfucker new strand get released. Motherfucker coming out of all got that every goddamn week, man. Yes, sir. Man, I don't know what the hell going on out here in the street, man. This is a lot, man. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, let. First of all, I wanted to say this, man. Y'all, y'all. Hey, man, y'all gotta stop shooting up everything, boy. These young boys out here shooting some <laughs> yeah, shit up man, around this real. motherfucker, boy. That, that's young nigga done killed Stop the, little, the violence, man. Man, these young niggas done killed the little baby and all kind of shit, boy. Yeah, we you know what I'm saying? We don't really get into all you know, but you know, when it comes to them kids and them old folk, man, you know, and them women. We as a community got to protect them. Yeah, the man, that's just like, you know what I'm saying? We we, we got to say something when, when, you, when you're supposed to say something, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to put them guns down, man. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. Y'all boys shooting some shit up around that motherfucker, boy. Atlanta boy, hey boy, it's some nigga getting there, getting there, whacked up line, they motherfucker. Hey boy, motherfucker be thinking they come from out of town thinking this shit sweet, boy. This shit ain't sweet, now. Uh-uh. This shit ain't sweet at all, man. Everybody yeah. moving downtown and midtown and the lofts and all this old shit. Boy, y'all some targets. Y'all don't even realize it, man. I don't know where he is. I mean, you know the don't history. even know the history, man. This shit real crazy out here, man. But it's all my young niggas. You know what I'm saying? All my young, all my slick partners, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all slow. I might can't talk to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Little homies, or you know what I'm saying? Everybody partner, but I can speak to my little partners and from my section and my sure. hoods. You know what I'm saying? And, and this coming from me, man. Y'all slow down, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all chill out, man. You feel me? If I gotta come shoot one of y'all a free video, man, it could like I'm coming. Shit, I come shoot the video for free. But we ain't putting no guns in the video. Y'all got to leave them guns at home, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't doing that. I'm I ain't doing that shit no more, bro. Like, I be shooting videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't really be saying that about how, you know what I'm saying, people portray their craft and stuff. But I got to, I got to, you know what I'm saying? I got to uh, uh, say so over what money I accept. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I can just not accept the money and not do the video and let, let somebody else shoot it, bro. We got to do all that, man. Cause really... I feel like, you know, I don't feel like I'm pet, you know what I'm saying, and to the, to the bullshit, but it don't, it like, it ain't like I'm condoning the bullshit, but I know the bullshit, and I know who be doing the bullshit, yeah. it's the crazy shit, cause I be done feel these niggas with the goddamn, on the goddamn camera. Like, boy, y'all got, we got to chill out, man. We just got to slow Stop down, the man. Stop the violence and shooting. For real, man. Shoot All my young no niggas, boy, that, that penitentiary shit ain't that. Ain't no joke, boy. They got a lot of space, wild, too. Wild, boy. They got a lot of room. They been the new ones every day. Shit get real, real fast around them motherfuckers, boy. Hell yeah, sitting that motherfucker got that. Boy, I wish I wouldn't did that, boy. I wish I would've did that. Too late then. Too late then. All oh, kind of old bullshit going on, man. That shit the street don't tell these young boys, man. They don't tell them the consequences behind their actions. That, that, that would it be. I don't, that, I don't <laughs> think they be telling them the consequences they don't, bro. behind the bullshit, boy. But these dudes send these young boys out on the mission. And, and, and nowadays, they think it's cool to goddamn do a little prison time, you know what I mean? That's the crazy shit. I ain't never understood. <laughs> I, ain't, I, ain't, boy, I ain't never understood that, boy. When it become cool, cool to goddamn be locked up, boy, hey, boy. or to be not bent, you know what I'm saying? The cool nigga is the nigga that's out and surviving. Living. Living. Freely. Good night, man. I ain't never understood that, man. How the hell you can feel like it's cool to goddamn... How the hell you can feel like it's cool to goddamn be locked up? That shit, that is not what's happening, man. 
I need that. Let me see that um, tray. I mean, let me see that air tray right there on the floor. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, man. Sneakers and strands, man. Sneakers and motherfucking hey. strands, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, man. It's a, yes, hey, man, we got a lot going on, man. And yeah, we work. like this shit, come on. Hey. Hey. We're going to take y'all around the city, too. Definitely taking them around the We're city. We're going to take y'all around the city. <laughs> Definitely taking them around the city. Shouts out to New Balance to the New Balance store, man. Oh yeah, man. Shouts out to New Balance. Shouts out to the New Balance store. Go, let me see that card over there. Let me see that. Go, let me see that card right now. Check them right folks out, man. They got some real exclusive let stuff. Let me see that them. card. Right Whatever now. they ain't yeah. got. But Shouts out to my boy Brandon Holland at the New Balance store. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, man, some good people, man, too, some man. Good people, man. folks showed us a lot of love, man. It's 1975 Claremont Road. Y'all make sure y'all check them out. The New yes, Balance sir. Store, man. We now we the reason we okay. So let's explain to them the reason why we talking about the New Balance. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, it's I feel like our sneakerheads. You know what I'm saying? Or people that's talking about so everybody focus on. I, my definition of a sneakerhead is somebody that well, you know, um, got a lot of different shoes that they like, and they like a lot of different brands, not just one brand. One brand. You see what I'm saying? You you a Nike head if you just got all Nikes or you got all Jordans. I feel like yeah. you a Nike head, or you well, a Adidas love, or you a Adidas lover. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's more than one brand. You got Nike, Adidas. You got goddamn. New Balance, you got, got Reebok, damn, Convert, Reebok, Convert, Puma. All, you got all kind of different, you know what I'm saying, shoes. And I notice in the shoe world, everybody's just focusing on the Jordans. Yeah, that's the that damn near the biggest brand. I Nike understand. Brand. Yeah, true. It is the biggest brand. And the it most popular. The most popular. But me, myself, I like all kind of flavor. Me too. I, I like too. all kind of shoes. I like different brands. And one of the brands that I was brought up on was New Balance. Yeah, real shit. Now, I never knew that these New Balance had numbers. They they, they go by numbers. You know, you got the... the Now, the ones that we used to rock, they were the 509s. The 509s. 509, 509 motherfucker. But we go to the store, we find... As we keep doing research, we find out... It's some goddamn New Balance car more than some goddamn Balenciaga around them mother. Yeah, yeah, damn. New I'm talking about nasty. Some, I'm talking about some hard shit too. Some hard shit too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. we just Real we shit. just trying to shine some light on you know other brands other than just Nike and Adidas. That's all we doing. Yeah, cause it is some good brands. Out yeah, there, I love Pumas. I know uh, my partner got my partner love Pumas. Shouts out to that boy Screw Gates, man. But when it comes to me and shoes, me personally, I like comfort when it comes to shoes. That's why I don't spend a lot of money on a lot of them foreign shoes like that, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Alexander McQueen, Gucci Low Cut. Them motherfuckers hurt your feet. I don't care what nobody say. Them motherfuckers are uncomfortable, bro. And yeah. one thing about me, I'm big on comfort. Yeah. So that's why I buy a lot of dunks and like Jordan 1 because those are my comfort shoes. You know what I mean? It used to be the Air Force One. Yeah. It used to be the Adidas Forum. It used to be the Soldier Reed. But now, in this day and age, my, the Jordan Ones and the Dunks is like my go-to shoe. Okay. You know what I mean? But I do love other brands. Don't get me wrong. Like, I got certain felines I like. What's your all-time favorite shoe? Man, my all-time favorite shoe, man, I'm probably have to ride with the goddamn... I probably have to go with the Bo Jackson Crow Trainer, man. The black and gray. Yeah. The old cool. I love them. Them nasty. And they hard to find. Them nasty. You know what she was out what she was I was in love with? The Harachis. Hey, which one though? The, I like the cross trainer Harachis. They were like purple and turquoise ish. Look like the like, you say all they, yeah. they had like a scrap go across yeah. the top. Oh, boy. I like the too. Body, boy. I don't know. It's just like the older shoes. Like it's something about them. Like they, they, they just the way they were structured or something. Yeah. Cause it was like all the shoes that were coming out back then. The Nike, the Bo Jacksons, the Dion Sander, the Jordan. They were just fire. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, them boys went missing when they were dropping. True, true, Cause true. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga was rocking just as many Dion Sanders shoes and Bo Jackson shoes. 
just as joint back then. Fact, you know what I mean? Fact, fact. It just they didn't come, they didn't stay down and come with a lot of colorways and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now, Legit. now they switching the colorways up, bringing and them back, bringing exactly. them, remixing them, and, mm -hmm. and some more shit. Goddamn, coming back doing? two months later, goddamn, with a different color wave and a different number brand and the whole nine, man. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, we going retro. I feel like we were going retro. We're going retro on the shoes. We go we go hey, go man. retro on on man, on the blast today, man. man. Yeah, man. Shouts out to my boys. Yeah, they man. Stack, man. Paper stack, man. Man, that man pulled out a throwback man. pack on y'all. Hey, man. My partner gave me them, man. He had a whole case on, man. He said, man, take a box of them. I was like, only, only the hey, real man. ones. All of the real ones, man. They gonna know about them. They one. got to know about this. A real A-Town nigga. We going retro on the shoes. But this we some freak go retro. Hey, this is a freak neat blunts right here. Going retro on the shoes. We gotta go retro on the blunts. Too, yeah, I know y'all smoking them things. That gotta freak neat. Retro man on the blunts. The fat, the big joints like my the girl Titty beach, say, man. man. Take them folks back to the day, man. The big joints like my girl Titty say, man. The big joints, the man. Big joints, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. That we you to smoke for real, back in for the day, real, man. Big perfect those swisher, man. We going retro, man. Bad. You don't see no fat motherfuckers, man. Yeah, the fat motherfuckers. These ain't no cigarillos <laughs> like y'all smoke. Nah, these perfectos. Yeah, these you got to put, you really got to put something in now. Them ain't them perfectos, man. Them ain't no man. cigarillos and shit. Them one, hey, look, them one used to be like my favorite Swisher, bro. Like, I know nigga used to fuck with the regular Swisher, but I used to fuck with the them, but the perfectos, man. But we, I used to get the razor and cut, cut the motherfucker down. Oh, you know that blunt in the smoke when you get the razor. Ooh, get the razor and cut that motherfucker down. Only the real smoker know about that, man. Only the real smoker know about that, cutting that motherfucker down the middle with the razor, man. Split that motherfucker down the middle, boy. I'm going to cut my finger a few times with that razor and cut it hey. down the middle, <laughs> Hell no. Man, I was in the Kroger, the Belvedere Plaza one time, man. Mm -hmm. Splinter blunt out there and wait for, I don't know who I wait for. Spin my little blunt right there, boy. Fuck around and <laughs> boy, cut, my, cut my thong. You don't see that little line no. right there, boy. Boy, we're leaning like hell. Then when I start cutting them blunt with them goddamn razors. Damn. You almost took yourself out. Boy, my shit got there, boy. I was like, what the fuck? I had a good one, too. To my brand new guy. You know them brand new ones be sharp, sharp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> them be sharp, sharp. That nigga, yeah. nigga that took a nigga back to the day with you. Yeah, the man, we got the hey man, we we some back in the day, nigga, man. We used to jump the creek. I used to jump the creek, come to the apartment fuck with y'all. You feel me? Come on, man. We shit, this shit got right there bigger than a podcast, man. This shit on. way bigger than exactly. the, just some two niggas sitting in front of a camera talking, bro. This shit, yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like, boy, we exactly. got some, we got some real stories, man. This shit go way back, man. man fuck you, feel what I'm talking about, man. For real, man. But we just doing some positive things. You know, nowadays we, we, we love doing positive stuff. We encourage each other, you know what I'm saying? My boy got the drip trap of gill. You know what I'm saying? Y'all but hey, I like the we, we got to make sure we show them folks the oh the the dick and overall suit that you made. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I got that upstairs and got that. Woo! We got to hit them. We got to hit them. Start hitting them with the merch too. <coughs> we finna got man hit y'all. Merch coming soon merch too. Coming soon too. Merch coming soon. They be patient. We working though. Know that. We definitely motherfucking working. Uh, any uh, anybody want to be a guest on the show? Y'all hit us up in the DM. We should have a razor right now. You got a razor? No, I don't want no old you razor. You definitely gotta have a fresh one. They ain't stale though, they fresh. Yeah, they fresh. They fresh, them fresh, the whole fresh. They was soft. I, was, I pushed on the pack. I was like, damn. Uh -huh. These motherfuckers fresh too. I went in, I, I started not to <coughs> take them out. Reluctant on taking them out. Like, you know what? Go on again to me. Shout out to my boy Paper Stack 1000, man. Shout out to my boy Paper Stack 1000, man. Blessing us with the. Uh, with the retro switches of the week, man. Yeah, sir. We finna got down show. Got the cheeseburger runs and, and and got down bogon gelato today. Um, we got to give some history on the. I had done looked up the history on that shit too. We talking about the goddamn 
the runts and shit. Yeah, yeah, the cheese. Yeah, well, y'all runts. know runts is a hybrid anyway. Yeah, runts is definitely. Fifty, and then 50% immigrant, 50% uh, sativa. That's what people don't know, too. Uh-huh. People don't know that. That that it's a uh, 50% sativa and a 50% goddamn uh, high. Uh, I mean, uh, indica. indica. That's definitely some, some great information for people to know about mm-hmm. it. You know what I'm saying? And it's a hybrid. It's definitely a hybrid, man. They say they can't hear us on here. Let me get this thing together, man. Let me get this goddamn perfect. Oh, I can't wait to smoke this. Man. I had to put it together. I hate when the, when, when the switches be coming apart sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm a vet, nigga. I know how to relayer them motherfuckers. <coughs> Shouts out to all our viewers, man. All our viewers all the way tuning in on us, man. Showing us support, showing us love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, you got to tear the little butt off. Mm-hmm. Get the little council piece out. And see, out there used to be a whole goddamn... Yes, sir. Everybody can like say, get the little council pizza. That, that was that, that what you used to do. But that that council part, that bro. That council. Nigga got that, all this shit council. All this shit council. <laughs> 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 Nigga thought we uh, saving our luck. Hey, man, it is what it is. Every little bit count, man. Yeah, yeah. Every it little really, bit it count, really do. man. Damn sure do. They Every little bit little... count, man. They say they couldn't hear us earlier, man. So hopefully they can hear us now. Can y'all hear us now? We back. We live, man. We still here, man. Sneakers and Scratch, the podcast, the man. The podcast. Uh, we're going to be taking road trips. Uh, we, we we out in the field with it. We in the field. That's what it, That's what we said. In the field. In the field. We in the field with it, man. We uh, oh. taking a few trips. You know, y'all want to use the road. Oh yeah, no, you can't okay. use roll with that squish. Yeah, and them motherfucker big, boy. Mm-hmm. Them motherfucker look like a bell tower. I know it might look small, but we gotta got uh, hey man. I don't like them. I had to roll them. They get the audio department going, man. Well, we got to, we get some music going, hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nah, we all um, cut that, cut that one on right up. Hit that middle button right up. They got, they got down. Yeah, man. Powering on. Welcome to All Tech Lansing. We working, man. These folks talking about they want to get some of their artists to come on here, bro. We gonna oh, yeah. start. Uh, uh. They been reaching out, say they trying to get their artists on here. Mm-hmm. Okay. We can do we can do a few artists long we make you know what I'm saying? As long as it makes sense, man. Yeah. As long as it makes sense, man. My man sent us some send me send me just some tracks. Not even no There's some beats. No shit. music, yeah. Just oh, some, we support our producers too. Yeah. yeah, we definitely support our producers. Yeah, that's man. the foundation of the music anyway. Believe it, man. So we always try to show them some love when they uh when they showing us some love, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, what, well, but a lot of niggas do not show the DJ no love or the producers no love until they blow up. Yeah, why? Why? That? Why they can't? If, if if they been producing with this artist for the same amount of year, a lot of them don't even get the credit that the artists get, even yeah. though they the whole sound behind the artist. That's true. <laughs> Then you hear about the producer five years later. Oh yeah, this so and so producer. Now now y'all give me goddamn prop. But like damn, bro. Like <laughs> y'all didn't know on the one did whoop the whoop. You yeah, know I what did, I mean? I did, I did, I did, I did whoop the whoop and whoop the whoop and whoop the whoop. They be doing all the beats. Producer have three grand. Can grams. y'all hear us on here? Can y'all hear us? Y'all hear Hey man. Look, he said Cho said let him bring his artists. Can y'all hear us now? Hey man, that what we talking about. Yeah, man. Shouts out to all our uh, CEOs out there, man, doing work, man. Moving their artists around the city, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that that boy T. Screek. Mind them Screek, man. Yeah, my Screek has good music last week, man. Yeah, yeah, that big Bobby Ryan. Yeah, 
We told him where, we, where he can get his music at and shit last like week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We told him where they can find his music at. I'm going to make sure. Definitely got to make sure they we keep the new folks up on this, uh, on where they can find their folk music and shit at, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. That boy Ziggy took us back to the days. Hey, man. Remember hey. back in the day. That Ooh. fat motherfucker gonna smoke too, boy. Back in the day when I was young, I'm not, not a kid anymore. Someday <laughs> I said I wish I was a kid again. Hey, you talking about, man? Yeah, for real, man. for real, man. Can y'all hear us on here? Oh, Can y'all hear us? Oh, perfect, though, guys. This is Strange, the podcast, man. We live. Kicking major flavor. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Roll that bit back like it looks for you on her. Yes, yeah, sir. Roll that bit back like it was, man. Ain't no slack in that, Jack. Hey, you talking about? <laughs> you feel me? Ain't no slack in that, that Jack. You hear me? Um, what the hell been going on out here in the street, man? You know man. what I'm saying? You been, I see you been out there doing most of the work of your move, man. You got, you got a few little, not a few little, you got a few uh, 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 destinations for us to go to, you know what I'm saying? Next couple stops we going to. Man, next stop I think we need to go to, goddamn, <coughs> in the Nike, goddamn, or out there with that Lennox, goddamn, do a little research and goddamn. In the Nike I mean? outlet in Lennox. Hell yeah. Okay. Because, boy, they be, they be having a lot of uh, Nike re new releases, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's just the Nike store. Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We definitely need to go up there and check some of that shit out. Man, we gonna hit all these stores. I'm talking about, if they, if they selling sneakers, mm -hmm. man, we trying to go see what it, they talking about. You feel me? So this, you know what I'm saying, segment of the show, we gonna call this In The Streets. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So we gonna got down, go to our In The street section right now. These are the 992s right here. This is like your early 2000s, 90s styles. And then you got like your 990 version 1. Let's see, this is the 991. This is straight from the UK right here. Straight from the UK. The 991s are. So are these. The 1500. 15, these are 1500. They're made in England. We just got these the other day. What what are those right here? 990. The 990 version three. Those are hard. That was like late 2000s to like 2010. Okay. Around there, they're not that old, but I mean, whenever they drop, we're gonna drop a new 990. The version six should be coming around the summertime. Okay. It's gonna be like what they do with Jordans. They just reissue all the older styles. Okay. Just because I mean, people like the look, and now it's just for fashion. The dope, man. Dope, dope. I love get that some. colorway you got on your feet. Yeah, we should. Light blue and dark blue. Definitely like get some. Burgundy like that, man. That's hard. Velvet too, I like that. Information. We like to get our viewers the, the, the information about the shoes. You know what I'm saying? You know. We definitely love all type of sneakers, not just Nikes. Nikes and Adidas. We usually hold his basketball shoe too. Okay. They have, we had to send it back since they're releasing a newer style. Okay. So quite so quite Leonard has uh, no, is endorsed by New Balance. He was the first player. Okay. The first year he was on New Balance contract was the year he was with the Raptors. And wow. Went off and won that, got their first championship, and for him to so, do that in his first and only year with them. New Balance basketball shoots went through the roof. Wow. Man, people come in every day asking. What did, exactly. What did, what did the Quileners look like? We know, I never saw those. I can look them up. We used to have them. I didn't know he was endorsed with them. That's dope. He is, uh, Jamal Murray is, DeJounte Murray is, Darius Baisley. Darius Baisley is, they're worth oh, some pictures. Yeah. Oh, man. Cat wearing some Omnis in practice, but I don't think he's a new Balance yeah. player, though. Tell me all the tell me all the players that's uh in uh, oh, New Balance. It's Darius Baisley, Kawhi Leonard, um, Dejounte Murray. There's two more. Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray. And it's an intern. It's an intern guy. He's not too famous yet. It's somebody else. He was at first. He was the first intern. Yeah. But somebody else. I mean, there were pictures of Cat wearing some Omnis and Precious, but I don't think he's. And and uh, Jalen Brown. He has some on some green ones. I got some of the Omnis right now in my in the Yeah, grab them for me. Let me check them out. No, 
man, leaving a new band of store, man. You know what I'm saying? Got us something to do us a segment about. You feel me? Mm, sneaks and strands, man. Sneakers and strands, man. Different sneakers, different strands. All day in the land, man. Yeah, got some for the wife today. Oh, we had to order the other stuff, man, but yeah, that we're working with right now, man. You know what I'm saying? New little flavor. Somebody just put her down on. We gonna put y'all down on it, though. On the next episode. Stay tuned. Yes, sir, Ski. And we back on another episode of Sneakers and Scrans. On your boy Hard Nard. Oh, your boy Slick Boy Ziggy. Yeah, man, and we here to bring y'all sneakers and strands. Good info on sneakers, good info on strands, you know what I'm saying? We be there blowing out these different kind of goddamn flavors and all that old good shit, man. So we just giving y'all some good information on this shit, man, you understand me? So y'all stay tuned, man, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, man, we've been out in the street, out in the field with it. Shouts out to that boy Brandon Holland. Brand new. Hey, the motherfucking yes, new sir. balance store. As y'all see, he gave us a lot of great information on shoes. Uh, you the, definitely know his new balance knowledge. Yes, he damn so do. And he had some hard, them blue, the one he had on were too hard. Oh man, I'm going back up there and snap. He about three, four. Them got them, 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 uh, them 900s. I mean, yeah, them 900s. Yeah, the pair he had on was $300. Yeah, I know. Out the store. This one, this ain't no reseller. No, this ain't no reseller price or nothing. No, that's why I told him. Come with two seventy something out the store. He said. I told him you got the harder one. On God, cause if he had them in the store, boy, I would definitely have to get them. He definitely had the harder one in the store. He did. He, it, nah, but they were they were from like he said they were from overseas. I gotta get me some of them more. I'm sick and I talk them out on them. They were like the British edition of some old I, shit, but I'm I, I, I might can get them to sell them to me. I just get them. Cause I know a lot of people don't have them. back on another episode of Sneakers and Strand, man. What we got here today, my boy? Oh, man, they them, uh, lead them Jordan 2 Cement. Cement edition. Yeah, man, lead the Jordan 2s. You know, they're the second. Shoe Joy made. I think he bought these out like 1986. Yeah, he bought these out. The shoe didn't sell as good as the first Joy One did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people weren't really messing with them, I guess. But hey, this the uh 2014 cement too. <laughs> so this a redrop. Yeah, this this <laughs> uh. uh I don't know if how it's did a they redraw. do? How did they do on the second go around then? You said people. Oh, went, after, you said people weren't feeling them. I'm gonna really tell you. I'm gonna tell you uh, what I think boosts the sales of the shoe. You remember when Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrison had the White Man Can't Jump movie came out, and they, the shoe was even wearing. But they were they were the multicolor. We got them too though, but they were the multicolor. They were got there, and, and yet, but they were joined too, though. Okay. So a lot of people really started gravitating toward the sneaker after that movie too. White mm -hmm. man can't jump. Mm -hmm. so I saw that boy with the snipes, man. Yeah, keeping man. The, keeping the sneaker game going, man. In the in the white man and, can't and jump. Woody and, and Woody Harrison. And Woody Harrison wearing the Jordan two yeah. in, the, in the white man can't jump video. That's a that's some sneaker history for y'all out there. Y'all yeah. go back, watch the white man can't and jump, jump video. Watch the white man can't jump movie, mm -hmm. and you'll see that they wearing the Jordan twos. Oh, yes, sir. And and like my boy say, the sales did boost after after the the the, the great you know what I'm saying response of that movie. Mm -hmm. It was a great movie. Great ass movie. I great still movie. watch it to this day. Fucking right. I love it. Jordan twos. You like you fuck I see, you you fuck with the Jordan two though. Oh yeah yeah most definitely. See I I like the Jordan brand. But I just mess with the ones through like twelves really. I like only a couple pair of thirteen, but after they lit, after the thirteens, it's like they the they just start doing anything to them. Mm. You know what they I'm saying? Just going all kind of direction <laughs> with them motherfuckers after the thirteen. Like when you go in the mall, all the retro joints be sold out, but they got all them. Other brand joins be on the yeah, wall. Like, bro, we don't want that, man. That Come on, still man. On the wall. <laughs> we don't want they those. Still on the wall, my friend. Uh, Foot Locker, Elite Feet. Y'all need to quit ordering them shoes. Cause get what? We do not want those. Y'all know what we want. 
<laughs> Man, look, you know how little kid, they might watch music videos and stuff. They be seeing they, they favorite rappers and entertainers with these retros and mm -hmm. throwback J's on. They be want to go to the mall and get them too. Yeah. But get what? They can't call these goddamn niggas using these bots and resell them. They making it hard, but so how you feel? You you, you fuck with the resale game? What uh, we let's talk. Let's get it. Let's talk about that. The resale. The resale. The resellers. How you feel about the resellers? Cause we 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 need we gonna interview some resellers. Let's all yeah, our resellers sure. out there. Y'all reach out to us, man. If y'all resellers, you know what I'm saying. Y'all in the shoe game and the shoe, you know what I'm saying. The shoe business. You ride around these mall parking lots, goddamn waiting on these shoe drops. Y'all DM us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get y'all on the show, man. What That's you right. think about the resale game? I I think it's a smart business venture, first of all. Because, you know, I ain't knocking no nigga getting hustling on. But I think, you know, it also have the downside where you got the people that can barely afford these sneakers that want them. And now they got to pay twice as much for them. And they already can't afford them. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the downside to it. Because they deserve to got they get them some J's sometimes too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's and the thing about the it. Resellers will be going crazy. They don't leave nothing in the store either, boy. Mm -mm. <coughs> they don't, they don't leave don't. nothing, boy. Not no ten and a half anyway. They ain't leaving no ten and a half for them. And that's why I come in like sometimes I go to the store, bro. And if they got some retro J's in there. Mm hmm. I get them. It don't matter. Got they ain't longer they my size. I just buy them cause I'm paying retail price for them. <laughs> I love it. If I, when I get to pay retail, it's like a blessing. Cause they ain't all our shoes. We buying them. They only double for what they cost. What's the most? What's the most sought after shoe right now? What's the most? What's the shoe everybody, every every shoe head want that they can't get right now? Man, I'm gonna tell you, I I really couldn't answer that because everybody flavor different. different, yo. You know what I'm saying? Cause what, what did probably take on the Travis Scotts right now? But Travis Scott got different different brands and different styles, but everything everything Travis Scott see haunted and up. I don't give a damn what it is. Uh, yeah, I don't care what shoe. It is. It going to be... Man, Travis... Man, Travis shit is up there. I'm talking about... That's what I'm telling you. His lowest shoe might be about six of them. Huh? They're the cheapest. Shit. <laughs> when they drop, they don't be that high. When Nike drop them, they don't mm. be that high. It's just that they the already rich. sold. And the reseller going to get them and going, they going up. It done got to the point now where you have managers that work at these shoe stores. They already locked in with the reseller. He shoot. He breaking them off on the back end when the whole shipment come in. Damn. Cause he already know he finna sell them for double what they coming for. So why not break the goddamn manager off an extra couple of racks, goddamn? You know? Hey, but look, I'ma buy all the shoes and I'ma throw you about twenty five hundred, three thousand on top when they come in. So just hold them for me. And they snatching them up. I'm trying to tell you, but it's all kind of it's all kind of shit going on with this sneaker shit. You seen the lady from Nike's son? This motherfucker had so many shoes. Some kind of way he was using her discount to buy hundreds and thousands of Nike shoes. No. Boy, yes. She had to resign. Her son was a reseller. He was a reseller. Man, this man had, nigga had uh, storages. When I tell you he could build a house with how many Nike boxes he had. We need to find him. Oh boy, Damn. man, man! This and is... all the while his mama was the manager. Of no, Nike. she wasn't ain't no manager. She was like a president or some shit up in the in the corporate office, nigga. She At was Nike. Yes. So this is a whole scandal that was going oh, on. Yeah. They just made her resign, bro. They ain't even locked the bitch up in them. But her son still got all them damn shoes. They made all that money. And he's still making money. Wow. What's your courage to know, Damn, man? and she was a president at Nike? Man, there would have been some black folk. Both of their ass oh, they been out of the been federal been pen. Fucked up in the <laughs> somewhere. Both of them would have been in the pen. Nike would have been a goddamn sued. They had. Goddamn, they'd have been a took all the shoes back 
<laughs> you feel me? Hell yeah. All that if it, if it was some black folk. If right. it was some black folk, though. You right, you right. That's the crazy shit, though. That Damn, really that's up. crazy. It's all counter scandals and shit, but the resale game is, is, is through the roof, man. The resale game is, is a real big right, market, bro. man. That's why we gonna have to take a trip down down to Miami sometime when they be having that sneaker con. Sneaker con. But sneaker they got another one coming up in Texas because I been told my wife I'm gonna start going to no sneaker con. Got them mean people mingling, buying shoes, you know. Cause you can catch you can catch some good deals at some of them places because everybody don't be out to just trying to knock a nigga neck off. Yeah. <laughs> some people just try to make them a little extra money, so they tap might be fifty dollar extra per box, but. They might got down got five hundred pair of shoes to sell. Yeah. So they like shit. If I I can make fifty dollars profit on each shoe, shit, I don't make me some good money. money. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you got this nigga that got that. It did. Dang, what's that nigga name? Cool, Cool J Kick. Man, shout out to him. Home is a real sneaker here. He's a uh, dude out right there. Got down La Vega, Nevada. He own got down. This big resale consignment place, bro, and like, man, home is the true man. Ain't that what? Cool J Kicks. Cool J Kicks, man. Shout out to Cool J Kicks, man. Yeah. If you like them, man. Y'all know Cool J Kicks, man. Y'all tag him. Home you right know what I'm He on um, Urban Necessities out there in Las Vegas. He got a uh, store inside of the MGM <coughs> Grand. Damn. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about this. Working, working. Man, this man got every shoe. You ever thought about Cause he go to all these sneaker cons and shit. He might buy your whole table out. If Damn. you if you got what he looking for, yeah. he cash you out right there on the spot. Home by all fat Joe shoes that he be selling. No. Like, oh yes. But y'all gotta check home out, man. Shout cool out J Kick, boy, cool boy, home, J Kicks, home man. for real. Fat Joe, man. Fat Joe got that real sneaker head, boy. Yeah, man, See that watch he check out? Oh yeah, yeah, the four million dollar, four million dollar, oh, all oh, diamond, good, ridiculous, that motherfucker, ridiculous, boy. You hear me? That's a, that's a watch. Nigga probably bought that shit for selling all them damn shoes. Nigga <laughs> been selling a lot of goddamn shoes, boy. Hey man, people don't know, bro, man. It's some shoes like you, you know them Nike Max, like the Back to the Future Nike. Yeah, man, them motherfuckers ain't going for no less than fifteen thousand. 15 bands. Man. Yeah, but they got some for 25 and 30. You know what I'm saying? The Freddy Cougar looking dunk, they look like the Freddy yeah. Cougar sweater. Them motherfuckers like $100,000. Man, they got man, they got some goddamn, man, they got some shoes that cost a lot of money out here. Sneakers, Jordan brands. Good night. Sneaker game big, man. Bigger than the world. Japan, out there, Japan and shit, it, it's very big out there in Asia. Yeah. That's where I gotta go, man. You wanna go to Asia with it? That where, they, that where all the sneakers at? Yeah, man. They, they sneaker people at. don't know the Asians. They they rock sneaker harder than us. Yeah. Niggas that be sleep, they sleep on them. I'm telling you, Asian might walk past you with a goddamn twelve thousand dollar pair of don't lows on, <laughs> with some bullshit clothes on, looking like goddamn Kanye West got their rebirth or some shit. I'm telling. Hey man, you know I just like shoes. I've been loving shoes since I was goddamn a baby, man. Like I told you, I used to steal my brother's shoes. He used to beat my ass out of it. But hey, it was worth it just to rock them shoes. <laughs> One day, nigga, don't rock them. Just go straight to play kickball, hey, motherfucker. I'm gonna get my butt toe up. <coughs> I got, I got a goddamn. This is section of the, this is the segment of the show where we out there ask question for the comment, answer question for the mother. What the comments, comments. This week in the comment section, we got a few questions, man. We got a few questions. Uh, okay, to Neil. Okay, these are female questions. Will there be a sneaker giveaway? Yeah, yeah. got okay. to be. You can't have no sneaker podcast and not do a sneaker giveaway. Yeah, we definitely. For show, for show. We definitely gonna got to do a sneaker giveaway soon. We definitely got to do a sneaker giveaway. Hey. I wonder what, 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 we, what we'll do. We'll just like raffle. What we'll do? Raffle them off or some shit? Yeah, just raffle them off. After so many I got the raffle time. queen right here. What you say? Ten dollar raffle to get in. Ten dollars, ten dollars tickets. Ten dollar raffle tickets. And we gonna have some exclusive. We ain't gonna do no bullshit now. We gonna give you something you gonna got down want now. 
Hey, we're gonna yeah. give you something that your friend gonna talk about. Where you get them from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's yes, your favorite sir. what's your favorite place to buy shoes from? Man, really lately I've been start itching and go with myself to death, but I'm really looking for like a little assignment shop or a reseller in the city that ain't just too high. You know, I understand you got to make your money, but, but I ain't trying to deal with nobody trying to break your neck. Because I'm going to be repetitive shopping with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, so, yeah. Do you, let me ask you that. Do you, do you buy on like... What they call them? Warm, what they call the shoes a nigga don't warm already? Oh, hell no. Nah. I, I buy my shit new. I ain't buying on that. <laughs> I buy my shoes That's new. That's the weirdest shit to me, man. I, mean, I nigga, gotta have my shit new, Nigga man. be buying shoes. Nah. Goddamn that. No nigga done whoa. Uh uh. What did that nigga old <laughs> smelly for that nigga? He don't want these motherfucking shoes. And I sprayed these bitches back hey. down, man. Old funky foot ass nigga. Nah, I gotta have my shit new, though, man. You know what I mean? But you done lost your motherfucking mind. I'm not wearing no shoes. That's like wearing nigga draw down there. I mean, I can see it's like your bro, your older brother. brother that yeah. different. You see what I'm saying? I used to take you that know what I'm saying? That, that different. But I ain't wearing goddamn I'm Lee not Rush. finna buy I'm no used buying... shoe from a stranger I don't know. At all, I don't know man. what you do with your feet. At I don't know all, how you take man. care of your toes. I have never understood <laughs> that. And that's a big thing right now, bro. That's a big thing right now. A lot of, some of these resellers, they reselling the shoes they've already worn, mm -hmm. bro. Like, gently mm -hmm. worn. They call them gently worn, nigga. If you well, done, then Jim, about that night you had last night, man. If you don't put your feet in these shoes <laughs> and warm to the club, my boy, you might well go on to put them on the shelf. That huh? told, that told her got them. You, what they, they say? Saying, <laughs> telling you, free love shoes. We going eight Atlanta City Club. It's the place to go. Mm. They asking you questions and stuff, so they hit me up telling y'all to talk to the people. Okay, okay, okay. We gonna hit ATL Sneak Club, but we definitely gonna holler that bitch Charles down there. Oh, gee, awesome. we, we definitely making our way to them. Yes, sir. Shit, we need it. We need to holler at them anyway. <laughs> and then go on and get it. Set it up. Go on here. Shit, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, we definitely going to holler at bitch Hustle, man. Definitely gotta get my boy Hustle. OG Hustle, we coming to holler at you, man. Gotta get my boy OG Hustle on here. We you definitely gotta saying? come holler at you. Question from the comment section, man. These folks be sending some good question, man. Hell yeah, yeah, I like These it. These folks be sending some good question, man. <coughs> what state has the most exclusive shoes? Boy, I don't really know, but me personally, if it ain't Cali, it New York, or goddamn Las Vegas. <coughs> Them my three places that I know keep some exclusive. You know what I mean? Yeah. But every state have releases that another state might not have. Like they might release this colorway in Chicago, but don't yeah, release it in Georgia. In Georgia, yeah. You feel yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? True. So true, it just true. be but most Las Vegas, Cali, New York, they get most of the exclusive shit because they really got all the high end shopping spots. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So they gonna keep the exclusive shit, of course. They definitely gonna keep the exclusive shit. We definitely got to go out to some of the events, man. You see right here where they say, do y'all go to events like SneakerCon? See, we finna start. Tell them we, we, we sneaker. I'm a sneakerhead, but I ain't been going to events, but y'all yeah. going with us. Yeah, now that we, 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 <laughs> now that we doing this show. Y'all going with us. I like us. to call this a podcast. I keep, I want, I, it's a show. This mm -hmm. is, a, this is man, a show we... about, you know what I'm saying, sneakers and strands. But you know, podcast <laughs> is the cliche word right now. So we'll use podcast, you know what I'm saying? But yes, to answer your question, yes, we will be going to some sneaker con events um in the near future. Like yes, we just took the trip to the New Balance store. Um we took y'all with us to the New Balance store. Took y'all around, let y'all see all the exclusive new balance they had in the store and uh spoke with some with some customers in there. Uh Let's see the next question. Why is your shoe drip so important? Your shoe drip definitely important. Cause for the first <coughs> thing, the late the women looking at your shoe, they, they look at that fur before they, they even look, look at, at the nigga face. Yeah, they looking at your feet all the rip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the shoe game is definitely important for one because you know what I'm saying. It's just 
It's and just it, like where your outfit started most of the time for me. And it you make you look saying? presentable. Definitely make you look presentable. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely gotta have your shoes. Cause you could be fresh as fuck. You could have you could be Gucci down to the sock, but, but you see, got on a regular pair of shoes, but no, but and but and then it's a direct opposite. You could be plain Jane and just a bright, plain white t shirt and a nice pair of jeans. With some and fresh some fresh shoes, shoe, you and still you, Gucci. You Gucci. You Gucci, you know what I'm saying? So all my fellas, all my young fellas out there, make sure you take that too. If you ain't got a lot of money to buy a lot of shoes, take that too, Brent. Don't be scared to take that too, Brent. Don't be scared to clean them, motherfucker. Clean them shoes, Cause man. I still clean mine. For and real? I got a lot of shoes, but I still clean mine. Because mm -hmm. I did take on like mine dirty. Take that too, Brent, to them shoes, man. Just don't try not to use them too harsh, man. You know what I'm saying? But don't, don't try not real. to put that bleach and stuff on your shoes. But definitely take that toothbrush and and that warm water to your to your shoe, man. Keep your shoe game up. All my young boys in high school, y'all watching the podcast. We know y'all be sneaking watching the podcast, so y'all make sure y'all keep y'all shoe game together, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, and, and speaking of keeping your shoe clean, shots out to that boy at the sneaker bar out there in got that t uh, or Tennessee, man. Okay. Home got down. Y'all got that go on Instagram, look up the sneaker bar, man. Home will bring any pair of shoes you got. I don't care how bent out of shape you think they are. Home will bring them back to life, man. We need to get them like, on. Like, for real, y'all need to tap in with Home, bro. What's his name? I forgot his name, but he, he got the sneaker bar in Tennessee? Yeah, Tennessee, man. Home going shouts crazy. Out to, shouts out to your man in sneaker bar in Tennessee. Young man, black, black on, entrepreneur, man. I'm finna give y'all his name right Young now. black entrepreneur in Tennessee doing the sneaker I'm bar. I'm finna give y'all his name, you know man. Because home, home is, is definitely... A savior for people that got that can't afford to be buying shoes over especially say you done spent a couple of racks on some shoes and you might have got into a little scuff up or something and got down damn I can't even wear these more nah man get in touch with home home gonna bring you back to life man on God. Definitely. Okay, there him right him. Like home go crazy. He ain't got his name up there but he shit the sneaker ball. You know what I mean? And boy, like Sneakerbar.com. Yeah. It's spelled S N K R R B A R.com. Sneakerbar.com. So y'all make sure y'all check him out. Sneakerbar.com. He doing <coughs> He cleaning the shoes. He bringing them back to life on you. Back to life, man. The whole nine. I'm talking about, man, home home taking shit like this. And bringing them back to I'm life. About, Get the fuck out man, of here. Man, I swear to God, Z. Them motherfuckers. That's why I had to shot him out, because, like, he, he, he a goat. And, and sooner or later, he going to be a franchise. And I ain't going to even lie to you, bro. I've been watching about a year. But when you franchise... Don't forget about me. I want I want me some. You feel? I need I need me a sneaker bar ATL. Hey, that's what like we he need. Going up like that. Oh, he's definitely going. You got people <laughs> shipping him shoes from all over the world, man. Home yeah. low. He gets so many shoes in now. He got oh, them all. Oh, you said what well, he brought them back to? Yes, bro. Good. And, and that ain't even his best work, but the, you see how I messed up them shoes were, yeah. right? Yeah. Look like he even cut grass in them over. But again, what he bring them back? Like home, he he the truth, and everybody everybody got there. Y'all out check him out though, man. Dot com, man. Shout out to bring the shoe back to life. Yeah, we got to get you on the podcast on on the show, man. Goddamn, man, definitely. Even if we had to make the trip to Tennessee, we'll pull up on you, my boy. He probably he probably he will. might he, be down here, but he be busy though. He be in his shop working, mm -hmm. so he'll be his man. That's why I said, but Tennessee ain't no Will Z, you know. Goddamn, that's a neighbor. Goddamn, yeah. Tennessee, but yeah, shit. I wonder what part of Tennessee he in. Is he in like Memphis? Nah, he in a uh, a little Nashville, little side town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He in one of them little side town. Yeah, but man. So we definitely, we definitely shout, shouts out to all our black entrepreneurs out there. Yeah, doing man. Shouts out to y'all. Y'all the real superhero. Oh, God. Y'all definitely keeping it, keeping this thing going, man. Yes, sir. Sneakers and Strand, the podcast. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. Like, subscribe. The whole nine. Cheeseburger runs. Cheeseburger yeah. runs. Cheeseburger motherfucking runs. Good <laughs> night. Like yeah. We got to get them, some, get them the information on the cheeseburger rats and the other strand. You know, goddamn, this the gelato, this the bubble gum gelato. This is old summer strand right here. You got to know somebody to get that one though.
Yes, sir. I love this one, though. A lot of folks love the uh, cheeseburger run more. Cheeseburger run more. I think they just love it because it's more purple. But this smoke right here, that's what I just rolled up in there. The, uh, I rolled up this in there. It both gone gelato. Yeah, man. It's like some jazz music. <laughs> like some jazz music, man. It's just smooth, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's like still... jazz music. You know what I'm saying? You're going you gonna to enjoy it. All right, the cheeseburger runts is a runt strand. It's perfectly balanced. Hybrid of 50% indica and 50% sativa. Sativa. Yep. Bacon cheeseburger with peanut butter. Juicy, <laughs> beefy, and full of flavor. Ooh. Cheeseburger runts, man. That's, That's my instinct, too. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, we, we go, you know, we get our information. We, we like to go to Leafy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Get the information on the on the strands. You know what I'm saying? Um. So from the information that we gain, cheeseburger is a is a counter farm. Washington is a deep, sumptuous strand that leaves the consumer feeling satisfied, like a cheeseburger after a hard day's work. Mm. With long, mysterious heritage coming out of Ocon Oconon. This indica dominant strand was in, infused to canisaw to ensure its wholesome genetics were preserved. With yield per plant weight reaching several pounds, each of its plant grows and grows. Cheeseburger has been known to grow especially well with long summer nights and matures with the first ears of corn ripening at the stalk. That's cheeseburger rice. The effects are tingly. Uplifted, uh, fifty percent tingly, fifty seven percent <coughs> uplifted, and forty two percent relaxed. Okay. Yeah. The cheeseburger is, is, is a hybrid. On uh, the THC level, THC level is seventeen percent. Just a little information on the cheeseburger ranch. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker. Sneakers and strands. You know, we give y'all information on sneakers. We give y'all information on the strands. The whole nine. We just sitting here doing And, and get what's what so do. crazy, though, Ziggy. What up? You remember when this weed first came out? We looked this up when I first had it found out this shit was out. Mm -hmm. And you remember we looked and it wasn't on here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You remember that? That yeah. was a few days ago. Exactly. And I said it's a new strand. It's gonna end up on here in a minute. It's cross. It's a crossbreed. It's a crossbreeding. Oh, uh, at its fine. Yeah, we had this shit. The right strand is perfectly balanced. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The smooth strand got its name from the iconic crunchy candles for a good reason. Can't the the crunchy candies for a good reason? <coughs> the potent plant. Packs a punch while uplifting you with the sweet aromic flavor. <coughs> Cheeseburger rant. Yes, sir. Cheeseburger rant. Bogon gelato. We got to look up the Bogon gelato, too. That Bogon gelato hen. Man, I want to share this. I want to share this with the audience. Yeah, we yeah, we gonna share, yeah, share, man, share, man, share this with the audience, man. man. Share that with the staff, yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Share that with the staff, man. <laughs> you feel? Shouts out to our staff, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to appreciate y'all. We appreciate the love. We appreciate the love, man. And the support, most definitely. And, man, we finna bring y'all something different, man. We bring something different to the goddamn world, man. We coming to a sneaker shop near you. We buying shoes. We showing off shoes. We doing raffles. Man, all that. And we finna start getting these women involved. We want the yeah. women sneaker heads to start, yeah. uh, you know start what I'm saying? In, Cause I got a woman in. sneaker head right here. Yeah. Got that. You know what I'm saying? We all we, we, we tapping in with all the sneaker heads. Definitely got to tap in For with real. all the sneaker heads. Male and female. Okay, bubble bubble gum gelato is a hybrid weed strand hybrid strand. Reviewers on Leafy said this strand makes them feel relaxed, focused, and tingly. <sighs> If you dabbed or smoke otherwise, enjoy this strand bubblegum gelato. Write a review, leave us a review. Uh, yeah, I got a straw. Bubblegum gelato is leave you 72% relaxed, 38, 36% focused, <laughs> and 36% happy. 36% <laughs> happy, yeah. 20% yeah. 
TAC, and it's actually more. The TAC level know. is higher than the cheeseburger brunch. That's okay. why you enjoy the bubblegum gelato more than the cheeseburger ranch because this is 20% TAC. The cheeseburger ranch was only 17% TAC. Oh, see that? You <laughs> <laughs> get some information about that. That's why I told you. When like you do your research, music, that man. jam music. That, that jam music. You feel me? That hey, and I tell smooth. everybody this. Everybody, you know, everybody strung out on the ranch brand itself. Yeah. It's like Mercedes or Nike mm -hmm. or, know what I mean? Gelato smoke a lot it. too, though. Yeah, they gelato a great strength. Well, if you got the real one now, we talking about the real ones. ones. You got to have We ain't talking about none of them air scrans or nothing <coughs> like that. We we talking about real scrans. Yeah, Appreciate man. that. Yeah, we ain't talking about the, the fake gelato that the goddamn boy at the store and bought some gelato bags and put some goddamn bridge in. <laughs> you talking me. about some boy, I got, that, I got that gelato, bro. Fuck with me. Hey, nah, we talking about that Oakland, California gelato. Oh, fuck with me. At the yeah. corner store with the gelato. Yeah, man. that's it. I like that one, though. All the time. All the time. We working, man. We working, man. Shouts out to all our supporters out there, man. We got, hey, man. We got some, uh... And tell them folk, man, y'all got to put some respect on these Join 2, though. Join 2, hold yeah, on. Yeah, on God. Y'all got to put some respect. And they's a comfortable shoe. They sturdy. You feel what I'm saying? Like, feel... Try, try to bend the sole, though. Just feel how sturdy they is. Yeah, they, they definitely sturdy. <laughs> you feel the motherfucker <laughs> got there. But the motherfucker sturdy, yeah, boy. They sturdy. No man. salt taco. Yeah, no bitch. A burrito. Dirty. That's why I like them and get what they comfortable, bro. Even though they that hard. Yeah. They I done wore them one time. Them motherfuckers not bending. Uh-uh. I love them. And I like them. They're no infrareds. The infrared two, cement, man. Infrared joint two cement edition. See, a lot of you them ain't a lot of them ain't seen them now. Joint two, man. Y'all see what's going on. Yeah. Joint man. two cement edition. Yeah, they verified through StockX. Y'all know we keep the verified joints. Yeah, well, you know what well, I'm well, what you doing on that goddamn? We keep the verified <coughs> joints in here. Man, we, hey, man, we got some donations this week, man. These folk that sent us some donations. And man, what the donation shit. looking like, man? Hey, we got man, on fire. These folk that sent us some donations and all kind of old shit, man. These folk fucking with our campaign, man. They say... They say we advertise shit out there. They let them out there. They got some shit for us. Nacho Mama Sweets. Nacho Mama Sweets. Okay. Yeah, Nacho Mama Sweets. They ghetto as hell, though, because they sent this shit in the goddamn in the Luna Park. You know it from some black folks when they put some shit. You know it's a to-go shit when they just put some shit in it's Luna Fall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Luna Fall tray. You know what I'm saying? Like, boy, 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 boy. But one thing about it, we black folk. We black folk, so we don't get no fuck. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> we don't got down. Get this shit out the way, man. We don't got down. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir, what, man. What, what you want? You going to keep in? Yeah, we going to move all this stuff out the way, man, so we can just Help. get this stuff up here, man. See what's going on, man. Grab that tray. Grab that pan, man. Good Lord, man, these folk got so good. I want to see what's all in the goddamn pan in the aluminum foil, in the aluminum ferrule. Shout out to all my folks in New Orleans, man, the aluminum ferrule. These folk that's that's okay. They say we on the. Ooh. Not your mama nana pudding. These folk that sent us some not your mama nana pudding, but nana pudding. Got oh, down. Yeah, I got it. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, y'all can see, man. I, I told you. Got to you right here, got down all kind of old little treat donuts and shit. You feel me? Red velvet cakes and motherfucking. Okay. Yeah, we got to share it with the staff members, man. We definitely gonna get our staff yeah, member yeah. to test it out, man. See what what's going on with it. Y'all wanna see the? <coughs> yeah, they said this out. They gave us all kind of treats, man. They know we on one. They say y'all smoking that gelato. Yeah, damn, y'all need some, some sweet treats. What they say? This the banana pudding. Okay, let's see what this look like. <coughs> 
Shouts out to Ugly Me 2020, man. Y'all follow them folks. Follow on Instagram, man. <coughs> she got the treats. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. That's all I got there. Got boy, that boy, that shit trying to kill pudding. me. Okay. That shit. Let's see what that shit hell. got there. Oh. Banana pudding. Yeah. Hit us with the big joint. That what's up, man. Not your mama sweet. Oh, I got, I got to uh, yeah, report sure these folk, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Ugly me twenty twenty eight. They sent us to me. They sent us to me. Not your menu. mama sweets, man. It's <coughs> half oh. a pound cake, sweet strawberry. Okay, lemon and red velvet. They got the donuts. Lemon, original, strawberry, and the red velvet. Mm. Uh, the donut delights. Strawberry or red velvet, five for six dollars, twelve for ten dollars. Pre order today, pick up tomorrow. Uh, follow Ugly Me 2020 look, on, look um, pretty good too, on Instagram. Shouts out to her for uh, blessing us with the, with the banana pudding and the. And the and the cakes and the donuts and the goddamn goddamn. Why? That shit look good, boy. I got to eat some of that shit, boy. I wanna try goddamn one of them fat motherfuckers that they're just poking at. Shit, give what they got they got but I we got, got silverware and everything. Oh, okay. Now we got a little fork. Man, give me some, some shit. It's a sanitizer. Little little bag. Your hand is the hand sanitizer, man. You know we black folk, man. <coughs> Some folks sent the other shit in a black bag, in a plastic bag, man. You know these folks get over hell. We sure appreciate the love, man. Some times right there. Some folks that sent some little bowls. Okay. Some napkins. Hey, that what's up, man. Some little faults and shit. Okay. Not your mama kissing, man. Not your mama sweets, man. Not, not your mama sweets. Not your mama sweets, My bad. Man. Not your mama sweets. Shouts out to Nacho Mama Sweet. You can follow her on Instagram. Ugly Me 2020 on Instagram. Y'all make sure y'all get her a follow. Uh, show us some love. Get her, uh, get her something. You know what I'm saying? Y'all. I don't know. Shop with her. I'm debating on that. I want the white or the pink. Hey, boy. <laughs> I want the pink. I want get the pink. pink. Yeah, that make my shit. We can split that motherfucker. Yeah, man. Somebody give us a knife. Give us a give us a butter knife or something. We ain't got. We ain't, oh, I just want to taste. It's yeah, it's a it's spoon to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah bust that motherfucker down. Yeah, we definitely got to shut it with with our staff members, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> that boy nigga yeah. said, "Got to give me a knife." Not nah, your mama sweet, man. man. Bust that motherfucker in half. Like what I'm finna do. That motherfucker look good as hell yeah, want, too, boy. I want, I want to see what they work with, man. That strawberry motherfucker. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna put it more, more pump. Okay. I thought these motherfuckers didn't want to cut right. Dude, you gotta put your shit in the house. Yeah, give me a piece of that motherfucker. What all the balls at? Let's do the taste test. Let's see what these motherfuckers come like, man. Motherfuckers got that look pretty good, though. Yeah, you know, I, I like goddamn pies and pastries. Yeah, man. Especially when they be high like that. And I like, you know, I like my shit hot too, boy. Mm -hmm. Put that motherfucking microwave for a few seconds. That shit pretty moist, though. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. She definitely got her song going. Y'all need to check her out, though. I'm fucking with her. Ooh. That is strawberry. That shit tastes pretty good. I'm gonna try one of them lemon donut motherfuckers. Cause you know sometimes that shit be dry, make your egg out there. But I need something to drink. Let me try this. That is more. Let me try the lemon donut, motherfucker. Yeah, what's up? Let me try the lemon donut. Let me try the lemon donut. The lemon donut. I'm fucking with it. Okay. No, for okay. good. I'm gonna touch it now. Oh, you got uh, let me that lemon donut here. toasting now. The lemon donut touching now. Damn. I'm telling you now. I'm trying to put it out now. Hey, I'm trying to put it out now. Hey, that man. That sound that just hit your mouth like a real lemon, bro. Yeah. I'm trying to put it out now. The lemon donut buzzing. 
Mm. Let me don't that bless him. For real, for real. Yeah. Yeah, sir. We ain't tried the banana pudding yet. Or um, or the uh, yeah. red velvet. But the yeah, strawberry yeah. cake and the lemon donut right now got my vote. I'm telling you. That lemon hit different though. <laughs> that lemon hit different. It got a little tang on it. Yeah, but that it. lemon got a little tang on that motherfucker, you know. Yeah, they fucked them up with that one. Yeah, that lemon got a little extra look. A little extra look on it. Yes, yeah, sir. Banana pudding, motherfucker. You fuck with that banana pudding? Yeah, yeah, I eat banana pudding, but I'm still, hey, they got something going. So, okay, we just had the goddamn. We need to buff one of them lemon cake down. We need to buff one of them lemon cake down. So, what? I wonder if the lemon. See, I ain't really a red velvet nigga. You feel me? I, I fuck, fuck with red, red velvet. velvet. I'm going to give it the taste test because she was nice enough to, you know what I'm saying? Seen us did treats, so I, I'm definitely gonna give it a taste test. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I just ain't really good. big on, on, I really ain't, you know what I'm saying? Just crazy how to have red velvet. And I'm a bit critic when it comes to, uh, like, pastries and stuff, because a lot of people bake shit be dry, bro. Mm -hmm. On God. Mm -hmm. That shit be dry. This shit fresh. Like, and like moist. you're eating a sponge. Yeah, this is definitely moist. Bro, you could, I could eat this shit and I don't even need any drink behind it. Yeah, that's crazy. We ain't even got nothing to drink with it. That's crazy. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. That's that's definitely more. What we what we on next? What we trying next? I don't know. This shit buzzing. <laughs> what I'm we like, trying next? Now I'm at the point where I just think yeah, I man, already man. know everything gonna take good. Let's now. Try, let's, I'm gonna try. Gotta to hit two things. And, back to back, and, and they were here. One, the first one was good. Then the second one just peeled. The lemon just bust the all. Lemon bust in the mouth. Oh, I'm gonna man. try the red. I'm gonna try the red velvet, motherfucker. They definitely got something going with this one. Try the red on. velvet. Let me see. Man, I'm finna try this red velvet. Got now. Give me a piece of this bit. No, red velvet. No, red velvet. I fuck with red velvet on. I just, I, you know what I'm saying. Red velvet knife. Hey. I can do with red velvet. Little bacon and shit, but they bacon their ass off. Ugly me 2020. Yeah, shout to him. <laughs> I gotta give me some real food. I'm gonna build out there snack and all this. Boy, what? <laughs> Nigga going crazy on the goddamn treats, man. The treat busting, though. That's the treat for sure. busting for sure. I can't even count. Damn. All right. One last thing. Last thing. I got to try the lemon cake. I got to try the piece of the lemon cake. Talking about that, 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 that right now? Yeah, I got to try just one of the corner of the lemon cake. I want to see if the lemon cake is going to me in the mouth. They like that donut? Man, I got to try that shit. Too. If that lemon cake take anything like that donut, boy. Let me see what that motherfucker talking about. Let me about. see. I know it ain't punching. That shit feel good. It ain't hit sour. And, yeah, and then it did. That, and then that's that might be a good thing that the the donut don't taste exactly like the cake either. That just like that lemon cake like mom you my mom used to make these. Mm -hmm. That thing giving and shit, but the lemon cake. Mm -hmm. But it don't you know it 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 it's definitely great. It's a great taste. But that donut like pow that shit got down by that. That got donut down lemon. like sneak you. That donut sneak you like whoa what is that? Like a nigga ate a goddamn sour lemon head. Boy, that donut got that tang it on good, it. Too, yeah, boy. that good tang on it. I'm fucking with the lemon cake and lemon donut. I like everything cake. on eight so far. Yeah, I, I definitely like it. I ain't even gonna need that. It ain't that. Shout out to uh, Nacho Mama goddamn sweets. What it is? Nacho Mama sweets. God, that shit good. Yeah, they. Uh, Whoever, I don't know who cooked this shit. <laughs> Whoever cooked this shit, what? Y'all did y'all thing. Whoever baked it. They got the... They definitely working with one. They got the donut. Okay, these the donut prices. The donut delight. The they, they got the like? strawberry and red velvet. Strawberry or red velvet. Five for six dollars. Or twelve for ten. Pre-order today or two. Oh, that's the Valentine's Day special. Oh boy, I might not Strawberry get Strawberry or red velvet. Them, them the, uh, I guess that's the uh, Valentine's Day special. They running right now. And then they got donuts 
You see what's on the first thing on the menu. Lemon. I got to get them Got lemons. to get them lemon donuts. I got to order my baby some lemon. Original strawberry and red velvet. Instagram ugly me. Ugly me with two E's 2020. Y'all make sure y'all. They got the Nana pudding. Damn. Uh, not, your mama, not your mama, mama now pudding. pudding. Yes, I already know that shit busting. So if everything busting, I know they ain't missing that one. Half a pound cake, sweet strawberry, lemon, and red velvet. I want them donut, them donut bust. Everything's a home run with these right here, my boy. Yeah, not your mama sweet. So if y'all like that, y'all want to, y'all want to donate us some, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got some y'all want us to taste test for y'all. You know what I'm saying? We'll be glad to taste test y'all, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to keep it 1,000 with y'all. We're going to keep it 1,000, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, we ain't going to try to make no fool of you. If you ain't busting, we might be like, but that ain't it. That ain't it, you know what I'm saying? We ain't make no mockery out of it. You probably ain't going to say your name on there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we don't we put no bad rep on you. But you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit, that we'll was real with you. For real, for real, man. Yeah, that shit, that was him. Not that, your mama. That ain't miss on that one of them. Yo, but that it, donut man. got down with something different. Yeah, that, <laughs> did it. That, that lemon donut. just hit. Mm, that I was like, donut. That. what the fuck? That shit was like a lemon drop. <laughs> Cause it dropped. Lemon dropper. That <laughs> taste just dropped it. Drop. I'm talking about motherfucker got down, put you in the choke hole real quick. God, that damn. one of them lemon. Yeah, that the last lemon, boy. You oh. know I'm watching that motherfucker. Oh, what? Hey, you know how a nigga be like hey. waiting on the nigga to say he full so he can get something else. You know how a nigga waiting on the nigga to say, boy, well, you know I'm full of hell. Oh, hell yeah, let me get that last yeah, one. Yeah, I've been waiting boy. on you to say you got them, don't want nothing else. So, boy, I've been eyeballing. We're going to bust that motherfucking head, but boy, I've been eyeballing that, that last limit so on that, boy. Ooh, woo, I've been that eyeballing that last limit. And that drop. lemon cake good. The lemon but I cake. Wish it this, had that lemon drop taste. Mm, mm. Man, you might can request that. We might can request the lemon, the lemon cake to have the lemon drop like the goddamn donut. donut. Yes, that they got that old school kilo drop. And it's spilly to y'all <laughs> motherfuckers. I know it's a lot of y'all folks be eating that QT, <coughs> no QT donuts and shit. But this shit way better than that shit. Definitely way better. I'm just letting you know that right now. For real. Not eh? your mama sweets, man. That's a definite. That's a, hey, man. Shouts out to Not Your Mama Sweets, man. They they, they showed us some love this week. Mm -hmm. Sent us some treats. You know what I'm saying? Hey, no more of them bus sweets, scene. Sent us some treats. So if y'all like that, want to you know, send us some treats, y'all feel free to did, send us in a DM. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Well, we can get your treats on here. We're going to shout your Instagram and everything out. If you cook, you know what I'm saying? Hot wings, whatever you cook, whatever y'all doing. Y'all get at us. You know what I'm saying? We'll set it up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can come drop the stuff off or we'll pick it up or whatever have you. We have somebody from our team pick it up or whatever we got to do to make it happen, man. We just appreciate the support. Everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? Tuning in to the Sneaks and Strand podcast, man. Yeah, it's my boy yeah. Nardo Wick, man. <laughs> hey, my boy. <laughs> shit, my motherfucking Ziggy. Hey, man. It's been another goddamn episode of motherfucking Sneakers and Strands, the motherfucking podcast, man. We'll see y'all next time, man. Hey, and we got this. Peace. <laughs> man, it's hey. your boy Hard Nard, man. Y'all here with Sneakers and Strands today. And today... I want to let y'all know that next month we will be raffling off shoes. Blazers, join, you know, all different types of brands. You know what I'm saying? Starting next month. We just need y'all to follow all our social media platforms. Comment, subscribe, like, all that. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell your mama, grandma, any sneakerhead you know, or anybody in the culture. We're going to be doing raffles. We're going to be giving away stuff like this. You just got to like, comment, subscribe, man. Fuck with the game. You know what I mean? And you can win you some shoes, bro. Straight up. We're going to do it once a month. Every month, we're going to give away a pair of shoes. You just got to check in.